Hi everyone, welcome to Last Minute Coders. My name is Vinay and in this video we are going to learn how we can delete files from attachment control using remove function. So I have this simple UI. So I have this attachment control with me or you can say data card visual with me and one button. So I hope you know like what uh, attachment control is. Once I click attach file, we can attach the files from our local system. The files can be of any type like it can be of a uh, image type or a document or zip czar. Okay. So let's say I attach these four files and our task is to remove the last file by the press of this button instead of like manually clicking on this. Okay. Anyway, this is also manual, but why do we need this? Okay. Why do we need this? So let's say I ask you to upload this last file to SharePoint library. Okay. And once that file is uploaded, then this last file should get removed from here. I hope you got the question. Okay. So for that, we needed this. So let's start this video. This is going to be really short video. So for this, firstly, what you need to do is just select your uh, attachment control, or you can say data guard value control. Okay. Once you select it, Go to its property, search for its on add file. Okay. On add file. What you need to do is you need to create one collection. Type something like clear collect and say cool attachment files. Okay. So create one collections and say self dot self dot attachments. Do something like this. Once this is done, just copy this code. Go to your remove file, paste the same code up here. Okay. So I'll just show you like what this code will do. Let me now it has the file. Okay. Let me now it has these four file again, and we will see inside our attachment. Sorry, inside our collection, we are now going to see these four files. See computer PNG, Excel, Microsoft, power app PNG, and the data inside them as well right so this is done i have created a collection and let's say if i remove this excel file so automatically it will be it will also be removed from this from my collection see it removed right so that is why on remove also i have written the same code and if i am going to add another file let's say if i again add add this excel file and see this cool attachment file collection see this excel i am seeing up here right okay once this is done just select your again this attachment visual and go to its advanced property then here items click on items and just search for that cool attachment files okay once i added collection to the items i am seeing like these files are being highlighted right these files are being highlighted let me play the app and if I again remove it from here, it will be removed from the collection. The functionality is just like before. Once this is like done, what you need to do is just go to this remove button and just write the remove code. Okay. So the reason for creating collection is this only that the remove function only works with collection, not with any other things. Like we can't say like, like this data data card value 46 or maybe this name is 46 underscore one dot attachment. If I do something like this, it, it is not going to work. It will, it will definitely going to throw me an error. Let me write the code up here like this. Look up. I'll say, I'll say, look up this only. Okay. I'll say, look up this where name is equal to name is what name is last and again this thing dot name okay so see it is it is oh uh, wait let me just add one more this thing so it will it will give me an error see this it is just expecting a collection okay so we need that collection okay so let's Let's use the collection now. Collection 
attach file okay once i use a collection see the error is now gone here instead of like uh, this thing i can use a collection only i can say collection sorry cool attachment files okay see and here i will just keep the keep the same code i'll say just remove the that row where my name is equal to this last name okay so from this whole collection just remove this row so see what will happen if i just play this and click on this see the last one remove excel is removed now microsoft will be removed now computer is removed so in this way you can remove the files okay let me just show you once again let me add all the files let me click remove see so i hope this video was helpful for you and if it was don't forget to subscribe the channel don't forget to like this video thank you till then goodbye